the Serengeti Plains, East Africa. 1.3 million animals are about to embark on the most epic migration on Earth. The single greatest mass movement of land mammals on the planet. As they chase the African storms in search of rain-ripened grass. It's a journey fraught with danger. More meat eaters hunt, kill or scavenge these savannas than almost anywhere else in Africa. And whenever the herds arrive, they herald a frenzy of feeding unparalleled in nature. This is Africa's great wildebeest migration as you've never seen it before. The halcyon days for Africa's predators. Tanzania, Central Africa. As seasonal storm clouds have watered the vast grass plains of the southern Serengeti, they've brought the grasslands to life and ushered in the greatest concentration of grazing animals on the planet. Yet the 1.3 million wildebeest haven't come just for the lush grasslands. It's early spring and one of the most significant events in the wildebeest's calendar is about to take place. Wildebeest birth is a quick process. This is a dangerous time for both mother and her unborn calf. With one last push, a new runner joins the herd. Over the next three short weeks, around a quarter of a million calves will be born. 90% of all the births of the year. With 500 born every hour, this must be one of the world's greatest population explosions. Wildebeest calves learn to stand faster than any other mammals. Their lives depend on finding their feet as quickly as possible. Within just one day, the calf will match his mother for speed and agility. It's an ability written in its DNA, as from now on, it'll be running for its life in the greatest race on Earth. Around a quarter of those calves won't survive their first year and the migration to come. They're on the hit list of nearly every African predator Many calves don't even make it to the start of the great race. This calf probably suffocated on its first and final journey into the herd. On the plains of Africa, nothing goes to waste. With a wingspan of two and a half meters, the lappet-faced vulture is the largest scavenger here. Wings outspread in what is known as a threat walk, the bird bars the carcass from its competitors. Only when they've made an opening will the griffon and white-backed vultures or the marabou storks get a look in. They'll make quick work of the carcass and by dusk, little will remain of the remains. A grim end to a short life. <laughs> <laughs> 